Hi, this is Eric from AHA, and today we're going to talk about the workspace line type. Uh, it's a small field in your account settings, but it's the key to gorgeous hierarchy reports. So if you have multiple workspace lines in your account, uh, divisions, subdivisions, multiple product lines, what have you, it can be very, very helpful to show how they're all aligned toward the same strategic vision. That's what the hierarchy report is for, but you need consistent workspace line types to use it correctly. So that's what we're going to go over today. It's a simple fix with a big payoff. Uh, today, I'm going to show you a hierarchy report with misaligned workspace line types, uh, then fix it in my account settings, and then show you the report again when it works correctly. It's kind of fun. Uh, let's get started. I'm here in Fredwin Technologies, which is our demo AHA Roadmaps account. And if I move up to the upper left here, I can see what's called the hierarchy dropdown. So this is every workspace and workspace line in my account. In this case, modeling how my company is structured. So Fredwin Technologies is the company. And then I've got three divisions, Fredwin Lifestyle, Software, and Marketing, each with their own individual workspaces under that. What I have behind this hierarchy dropdown is what's called the hierarchy report. This is a report that you can create. Navigate up to roadmaps and click on hierarchy to create it. And it shows me different record types in my individual workspaces and workspace lines and how they relate to each other. I've created this one based on goals. So you can see the company level strategic goals there. And then for my divisions, I have Fredwin Lifestyle, Fredwin Software, their goals at the workspace line level and then down at the workspace level each of those individual goals. For each one of these goals, I can click to open it and link it to something higher up in the hierarchy. So I can show in one report how the work being done at the workspace level is contributing to each division's strategic goals and how everything a division does contributes to the overall company strategic vision. But there's a problem with this report, right? I have the company goals. I've got Fredwin Lifestyle and Fredwin Software goals here, but I don't have Fredwin marketing, which means I'm missing a critical perspective here on how we're going to achieve our strategic vision. And it's definitely there up in the hierarchy dropdown. The reason it's not showing up in this hierarchy report is what's called a workspace line type. And I'll show you how to fix that. It's real quick. I'm going to jump over here to my account settings. Since I am an administrator with customization privileges in this account, I can access account settings by going over to the gear dropdown, clicking on account, and then clicking on workspaces. And here you see that same hierarchy dropdown that we saw before. There's Fredman Technologies, my company, and then lifestyle software and marketing. And this column right here is the type. As you can see, even though a couple of these are product lines and one of them is a marketing line, they all can work together in a hierarchy report if they have the same type and they don't. Lifestyle and software are called divisions. Marketing is called a marketing line for some reason, which is why it's missing from that hierarchy report. It needs consistent nomenclature of the workspace line type there. So a uh, simple fix, I'll click edit here. And instead of marketing line, I will put division, save it, and let's go reload that hierarchy report. Same filters and settings I had before, but now you can see that company level goals, division goals, I've got lifestyle, software, and marketing. Now I'm seeing how every aspect of the company is contributing to that single company vision. And that is it. As simple as that, just making sure you've got some consistent nomenclature there. Try this out for yourself in account settings and the hierarchy report. If you have any questions, jump up here to the question mark drop down and click down here to get help from an expert. That'll take you to our customer success team. All of them are product experts and we respond very quickly. Okay, enjoy.